Ladies and gentlemen, inflation has skyrocketed to 8.6%. 8.6% over the past year. The numbers have gone up since the latest reading. Hit subscribe to this channel. This is H.A. Goodman, almost 200,000 subscribers. I told everybody in September of 2021, we're heading towards a market collapse. We're seeing that in slow motion. I accurately predicted that. And I've been saying crypto is going to implode since September of 2021. In October of 2021, I wrote in The Federalist that the policies of a certain political party, the Democratic Party, were, were, were moving us towards a stock market crash and economic collapse. Inflation, 8.6%. Hit subscribe to this channel. Hit subscribe to the Stock Market Crash channel. I'll have a segment on that channel as well on this right after this one. And the Bitcoin Crash to 10,000 or lower channel. I have three channels. Hit subscribe to all of them. They're in the pinned comment and also in the description. I have been saying this since September and October of 2021. I have the receipts in the description section. How many people do you know that have told that have, that have told their viewers that, that everything's going to implode? We have a sword of Damocles hanging over the traditional stock market. The S&P, the Dow, the NASDAQ, and a sort of Damocles hanging over the crypto world. A bubble has been inflated. $10 trillion in fiscal and monetary stimulus. And now that bubble is imploding. We have uh, oil prices at $120 per barrel. We have 1.5% negative GDP growth. First quarter, Atlanta Fed GDP now estimates are at 0.6%. It was at like 1.3% for the second quarter. So we're going into a recession because 0.6% and it'll go down below to negative territory. You tell me below in the comments section what's going to happen in the third quarter. You think oil prices are going to go down with a geopolitical nightmare in Europe? And another geopolitical nightmare that could take place. 10-year treasury above 3% yield. So oil prices over 120 per barrel. 10-year treasury over 3%. Negative GDP growth for two consecutive quarters. Going into a recession. Interest rates going up. Interest rates going up. Not, not down. Yeah, up. <laughs> They can only go up. They can't go too far down anymore. They can only go up. Real estate market is going to tank. Bond market is going to be hit. It's already being hit. And you have global GDP on the decline. Household debt. The average American has more debt than ever. Credit card debt is at an all-time high because one political party pushed to end economic activity. As they, how shall we say, uh, touched, how, how shall we say, themselves in ecstasy, pushing to end economic activity as they say, wealth inequality, marginalized, uh, systemic injustices, um, you know, working class, and under... The economy of Democrats in the House, the Senate, and mashed potato brains, Joe, our president, our beloved president. We have wealth inequality skyrocketing, inflation through the roof, food shortages. Oh, I forgot that. <laughs> and it is more expensive for everyone all americans doesn't matter what your background is doesn't matter who you are it's expensive more expensive and they say have you seen the the uh wage increases and have you seen uh the unemployment numbers oh wow it took 2 years to get to where the unemployment was in january of 2 years ago and real wages are down 2.73% probably more than that because Oh, yeah, a lot more because it's 8.6% inflation. Inflation went up. I was thinking they'd find some way to get like some kind of victory where inflation would, would be like a, a fraction of a percent lower. 
highest level since 1981. And you didn't like Trump's tweets because they were mean. And he worked with the Kremlin. And he's orange. He's an authoritarian, don't you know? He's mean. Trump, we had record low unemployment, record low black and Latino unemployment. Gas prices have doubled under mashed potato brains, Joe. They were at $3 or so, less than $3 with Trump. They're now close to $10 in certain parts of the country, especially on the West Coast. We didn't have food shortages. We didn't have the inflation we have now. And we didn't have, we had hundreds of thousands of new manufacturing jobs. We didn't have the supply chain breakdown we have. And they say, well, inflation's not mashed potato brain Joe's fault. Every country in, in the Western world is experiencing inflation. It's a global phenomenon. Yes. Gee, what did every country do in unison like a bunch of imbeciles, like a, like a bunch of maniacs? Two years ago, for a year and a half, they ended economic activity. The greatest sin in terms of the economy that's ever been committed. Usually people, usually countries throughout the world and in world history have gone to battle to prevent this type of economic decline that was a self-induced wound. Because experts and bureaucrats and multinational organizations and the smartest people in the room said, yes, we have to. Well, now you've completely obliterated supply and demand projections. I mean, two years ago you did. And now we have commodity prices through the roof, inflation through the roof, skyrocketing, negative GDP growth. We're into a recession right now. Treasury yield, like I said, above 3%. The economy is going to collapse. Hedge funds. I talked about the Go to the description section. The only reason I bring this up, ladies and gentlemen, hit subscribe and tell your friends about this channel. How many people have been telling you this, people? How many people have been telling you this since September? I mean, my viewers who watch this, I mean, maybe like a lot of my viewers aren't really into this. And they'll watch my stock market crash channel. But how many times have I said this every single day? I said, if you if you need the money, if you're about to retire, get out. I, didn't, I actually didn't give investment advice, but I said I would never be in the market. If I needed the money, I would never be in the market. 8.6% inflation with raising in, rising interest rates. And oil prices are going to break 147 people. You heard that here first, maybe also. Because in, in, in 08, when they broke 147 per barrel, uh, we didn't have uh, food shortages and increased interest rates and um, inflation at 8 to 9% already. So that's un unfortunately going to happen. But ladies and gentlemen, hit subscribe to this channel. Hit subscribe to the Stock Market Crash channel. I have a segment there right now. Go to the Bitcoin Crash to 10000 or lower. This is going to implode Bitcoin because I say this with all due respect, as I always do. Bitcoin is not a store of value. It's not a hedge to inflation. When the market goes down, um, Bitcoin goes down. It's below, it'll get to 10000 or below, $10,000 or below. It'll probably get to lower than 10000 the stock market could go up today. I don't really care. It's probably going to go down. It could go very, it could go way high up. Who cares? The long term or the within the next year, year and a half, we're talking about hedge funds going under like Archegos. We're talking about a Lehman Brothers and AIG type of 08 moment. It's not getting any better. How? Will oil prices go down? No. Will the geopolitical nightmare be addressed anytime soon i hope so but it doesn't look like that and you have interest rates going up so now during this crisis what what's going to happen if they don't if they lower interest rates inflation will will, will skyrocket to 10 12 13 percent and then you have a big problem inflation is the most sinister enemy of any economy it's the worst thing you can have. And mashed potato brains Joe. I mean, Democrats don't care. They want universal basic income. They just want to just 
throw money and then say, oh, look, we're helping you. We're good. Trump is mean. We had a great economy under Trump. Great foreign policy, too. Anyway, hit subscribe. He opposed the Lincoln Project, which is the main thing. Hit subscribe to this channel right now. 8.6% inflation. Go to the Stock Market Crash channel. Go to the Bitcoin Crash channel right now. It's below in the description and pinned comment. Thank